Hello, this is Dr. Liu at Lead Time. Today, I'm going to demonstrate you how to make a eucalyptus essential oil and hydrosol by steam distillation. I'm going to use the Lead Time 3 gallon distiller, and its model is LT3G. Eucalyptus has many benefits. One of the best is for the respiratory system. So its essential oil has been widely used for treating the respiratory system problem like coughing or improve the mouth hygiene. So that's a lot of uh, the mouthwash using the eucalyptus. That is a major chemical extracted from eucalyptus. And the second use with the eucalyptus, especially its hydrosol, is uh, skin care. It's perfect for the acne because of its strong antibacterial benefits. I have another video talk about the eucalyptus, so you can watch that one and see more details. And today, I just want to demonstrate you how to make the essential oil and hydrosol from eucalyptus by doing the steam distillation with three gallon distiller. I'm going to do the steam distillation. I've added a five liter of a filter water in the pot. So then put the sieve cup. You can add up to seven liter of water underneath this uh, sieve cup, but I added five liter. Because I'm going to do just uh, one pound of uh, the eucalyptus leaf. I want to show you. It's a dried and a crushed uh, eucalyptus leaf. Pretty simple, just pour it in. So just use a hand to, to flatten it, uh, make it even. The even can make a, a better uh, heat transfer to make a, a good uh, extraction. And then put the seed plate on top. Now close the lid. Now the boiler is ready, so I gotta put on the stove. So I'm using the circulation cooling. Uh, when you have a large uh, distillation, you wanna have uh, the reservoir of cold water because there will be a lot of heat to be uh, uh, taken out of during the condensation process. And also, I have uh, the oil separator. So, by the way, I have a two size of uh, the oil separator. This is a small one. It fit perfectly with the LT3000 and the KD5. For the LT3G, you can use the large one, the 100 milliliter one. This is a 40 milliliter. Um, but it's okay for the low oil content like eucalyptus. Now I gotta turn on the heat, start the distillation. It took me about one and a half hours. So you see, I made a bit of a, the golden color uh, essential oil, the eucalyptus oil, and also a good amount of uh, 1.5 liter of a uh, concentrated, you know, a little bit cloudy color hydrosol. I'm gonna show you the color of a hydrosol and a uh, safe in uh, the container. Um, hydrosol has a pretty good uh, shelf life. It can go more than 12 ounces, but uh, there are a few points you gotta be very careful, otherwise it can go bad easily. 
So watch my other video talk about how to store hydrosol and what are the key points you should follow. Then you can have a very good long shelf life hydrosol. I often have a question from uh, customers uh, when the distillation should be finished. The general rule is a one to one ratio. That means if you have uh, one liter of the herb in the column, you can make one liter of hydrosol. Obviously, if you have a dense material like a ginger, you're going to take uh, way more than the lavender in the one liter. So you will have a more hydrosol and even essential oil with the dense material like a root, bark, then the flower and the leaf. I have another video explaining how to decide when the distillation is done. So you can watch that video and make your customized uh, the ending point for your distillation. Thank you for watching. This is Dr. Leo at Lead Time. Please like the video, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you next time.